My name is Pierre Martinry, speaking for Ukraine Today. I am in the Ukrainian Embassy in Paris, sitting with Mr. Shamshu, who is the Ambassador of Ukraine to France and also a permanent delegate to UNESCO. Hello, Mr. Shamshu, thank you very much for having us here. It's my the pleasure. Ukrainian Embassy in Paris. How would you define uh, France's diplomatic role? Well, I think that uh, France is one of uh, the two countries, together with Germany, uh, who is playing uh, the utmost role, a kind of a role of the prime mover in the search for the diplomatic uh, solution uh, to uh, the Russian-Ukrainian war, to the uh, crisis that was created uh, by uh, this uh, war, by the Russian aggression. And uh, I think that uh, the role of France in uh, uh, this respect was really important very and was uh, very consistent. Uh, it's also important that uh, the French government has taken a uh, final decision not to, uh, not to provide uh, uh, two ships uh, of Mistral type uh, to Russia. We think it was a very uh, responsible decision. Uh, at the same time, uh, I always say that, of course, it's important to understand that uh, this conflict cannot be resolved by uh, uh, military means, but definitely it cannot uh, be resolved only by diplomatic means. And we should be looking for synergy of the diplomatic efforts, of the enhanced uh, um, uh, cooperation with Ukraine in military, military technical uh, field, and also increased and uh, consistent pressure on Russia. And in this respect, uh, France uh, was following the line defined by the European Union, was very consistent as far as the uh, sanctions uh, regime uh, is uh, concerned. And of course, there is another part uh, to um, this uh, story, to this situation, is definitely uh, the need for assistance uh, uh, to Ukraine in dealing with economic problems, but also in, uh, in uh, organizing the process of furnishing consistent reforms. And France is playing its role in this respect as well. In 2014, the economic exchanges between France and Ukraine have decreased by 22%. How do you explain that? Well, uh, explanation is more or less uh, lying on the surface. Uh, firstly, uh, firstly, that's uh, the uh, overall economic situation in Europe and in the world. That's still economic crisis, recession, or very timid, very fragile recovery. But in, in any case, it's economic situation uh, overall is very uh, difficult, is very fragile. Uh, and of course, the economic situation of Ukraine is even worse uh, and it uh, has to do mostly uh, due to the effect of the Russian aggression as the country has to devote a lot of uh, efforts, a lot of resources to countering uh, this aggression to war efforts. And definitely, both factors definitely uh, affect uh, the economic changes between our two countries. I'm, uh, of course, not um, satisfied uh, with the volume of trade and economic change, but I'm also not satisfied with the structure of the Ukrainian export to, uh, to France. Uh, but at the same time, I see uh, possibilities for uh, further economic relations between our two countries. Uh, there are some areas of mutual interest, and I would like to stress that we should be looking, first of all, at the areas of mutual interest on the French side, on the Ukrainian side. So I'm pretty hopeful and of course the situation would depend on uh, the escalation of tension uh, in uh, the east of Ukraine uh, and also in the way uh, how Ukrainian economy, Ukrainian society progresses along the path uh, of reforms. That's why we are planning uh, the um, uh, investment forum for the fall of uh, this year and there is a considerable interest on the part of uh, um, the French business. What are the areas of mutual interest between France and Ukraine? Uh, at least uh, there are some areas where there is an evident interest. Well, first of all, agricultural sector. Uh, secondly, I would say uh, energy renewables, but also more traditional um, um, uh, sectors of energy, especially related to the uh, program of privatization uh, adopted by the government. Uh, 
uh, also uh, the areas of uh, transportation, uh, development of the uh, port uh, structure, uh, port structure and uh, the area on the environment. I see personally the, the possibility uh, for further development uh, of the mutually interesting cooperation in maybe uh, aerospace, uh, uh, also in the aircraft building, in IT technologies, uh, in new uh, science-based areas. Uh, and uh, we have uh, recently had uh, the visit of the large, unprecedentedly large group of uh, uh, the rectors of uh, the French universities uh, to Ukraine. And I was, frankly speaking, even amazed by the amount of agreements signed between our educational institutions on both sides. And largely it's built on uh, the further cooperation in the areas where uh, Ukrainian side has something, has a lot of uh, uh, to offer. So meaning there is a potential there, we should make the best possible use of this potential. Lately the image of Ukraine has been reduced to images of war, casualties, riots, uh, divisions. How do you manage to promote another image of Ukraine as the ambassador of Ukraine to France? Well, that's, a, I would say, a very uh, difficult question. So if I can start with what you said, so definitely uh, most reporting is about war, about uh, the Russian aggression, about the suffering, and that's unfortunately the reality on the ground. Uh, I would like to uh, see even, uh, I would say more of that, that people uh, see uh, what is really happening, because uh, what I see in my, um, in my um, communication with many French uh, and a uh, different level of society, uh, well, we have about 10,000 people killed as the result of this aggression. And for most of the French, it's not actually suffering. It's mostly in the area of statistics. And we should, and I should, I see it as my task to see that the people are suffering, that's, that's the human tragedy, and there, we need more uh, international engagement in addressing those issues in helping Ukraine. On the other hand, of course, uh, I would like to show that uh, what is happening now in Ukraine is not limited to the war effort, is not limited to what is happening in some uh, district areas in the east of Ukraine. That the country in general is stable, secure, open for business is changing itself. And of course, in this uh, sense, uh, I would try, uh, as I mentioned, this investment, investment forum uh, to show the business opportunities. Of course, those business opportunities now are limited by the war, understandably, uh, as the business uh, actually doesn't like uh, this kind of uh, uh, the situation, uh, the war, war um, uh, happening at least in the part of the country. But on the other hand, uh, of course, uh, I count on the long-term vision of uh, the French businessmen. Those, those are possibilities, and of course, there is a still a possibility. Uh, there is a still a need to familiarize uh, uh, French public with the Ukrainian history and Ukrainian culture. Uh, the uh, I would say the attitudes are changing. Finally, people understand that Ukraine is definitely is not Russia. That we are definitely are different, but there are many misconceptions about our history, about Ukrainian culture, about our relationship to the neighbors, and that's what uh, we are trying to change uh, through, well, speaking to the press, through cultural events, uh, uh, through uh, conferences and so forth. That's, we are only, uh, frankly speaking, only at the beginning of the road. Uh, I've given some interviews and I said that my ambition is not to change. Uh, French attitudes uh, towards Ukraine. I mean, speaking about the general public, it's uh, a huge test. But if I manage to start or to stimulate the start of the change of those attitudes, that would be uh, achievement big enough. Thank you very much, Mr. Shamsho, for having us here. This was Pierre Martinelli for Ukraine Today.